how to take boudoir photos of your wife. Do you wanna take some boudoir photos of your wife or your girlfriend, but you're not really sure where to start? I have one question for you, and based on your answer, that's gonna tell you exactly what to do. It's showtime. Hello, I'm Mike Lloyd. I run a multi six figure boudoir studio here in Silicon Valley, California. I love shooting boudoir. I photographed so many people over the years. And you know, when I first got asked to make this video, I thought, okay, well, I could talk about posing or I could talk about lighting or I could talk about any number of things. But it really comes down to why are we doing the actual photo shoot? And so that's the first thing asking yourself, why do you want to do the shoot? What do you want to accomplish with this? If it's to get the experience, if it's to have fun and take sexy photos and be flirty and just that's it, hang out and have fun together, then that's great. And if you want like a real boudoir experience with professional photos and lighting and posing and to create these gorgeous images and have like a total self-care day, that's amazing. I support that. That's what I do. Knowing the difference will tell you how to move forward. So my advice, if you just want to hang out and have fun together, together and do something cool and new, then don't worry about the poses. Don't worry about the lighting. Don't worry about any of the technical stuff. Just hang out and have fun. And if you're not a professional photographer and you don't know how to do all of those things and you're like, easy for you to say, cause you know how to pose and how to light and how to make people look good. I didn't always. And when I first got started, my girlfriends wanted photos and we would just play. I would set up lights in the room and my first lights were just like floodlights from Home Depot. I didn't have anything fancy. I had a camera with a lens and we just played around. We looked at photos on Pinterest. Uh, I don't think Instagram was even a thing yet, but we'd just go onto Pinterest, find some images we thought were cool and try to recreate them. And we had tons of fun doing it. And if we got a couple great photos, neat, but it wasn't about that. It was about just hanging out and doing something fun together. Therefore, it was a success. If you want to do boudoir photos for your wife or girlfriend because you want them to have these incredible photos and this self-care day and get this luxury experience, hire a professional. Send them to somebody who does it for a living and who's good at it. Do the research together. Pick a photographer together. Do the consultation together. You can be part of the process as well. But if you want them to have that real, complete luxury experience with a professional, let a professional do the job. And then, you know, they'll have their hair and makeup done and you can go out and celebrate afterward. And if you want to help pick out the photos and she's down for that, you can do that. There's a ton of ways you can be involved without being behind the camera and make this an incredible experience. Probably not the answers you were looking for when you got to this video, but I really think that this is the way to go. If you just want to hang out and have fun and do something exciting together, then just focus on that. Don't worry about the technical stuff. And if you want the actual professional boudoir experience for her, let a professional do it and then go have fun in other ways. There you go. Nice and short. But if you want to learn more about how to light and how to pose, how to guide people, how to build your portfolio, how to do all those technical things, follow this channel because I'm going to go over all that as well or head to boudoirguild.com and I will walk you through everything there in the membership site. You are amazing. I'll see you inside.